Hello and welcome gamers to another Elder Scrolls Online video. I'm your host, B.R. Brainerd. At long last, the Imperial racial abilities have been released. Many players have been wondering if Imperials are going to be overpowered because Imperials are only available to those of you who pay extra to purchase the Imperial edition of the Elder Scrolls Online. Several jokes have been posted on Reddit claiming that Imperials will start the game with proficiency in assault rifles, and I'm happy to report that that is not the case. Let's take a look at what they do get. The first Imperial skill is Shield Affinity, which is gained at level 1. As with all of the other races in the Elder Scrolls Online, their level 1 ability increases the rate of gain for a particular weapon, in this case one-handed weapons and shields. It's worth noting that one hand and shield is a separate skill tree from dual wielding, so it's not the same as Skyrim where dual wield keyed off of a general one-handed skill. The next skill, Tough, is unlocked at level 5 and increases your max health by 4%. Conditioning is a racial skill that is shared with Red Guards and unlocks at level 10, increasing your stamina by 4%. And finally, Red Diamond unlocks at level 25, causing all melee attacks to have a 10% chance to restore 2 health. Each of these skills, with the exception of Shield Affinity, is expected to have 3 ranks. In the case of Red Diamond, we don't yet know whether each rank will increase the amount healed to 6 health, or the frequency of healing to a 30% chance on each swing at 3 ranks. But Red Diamond does favor one-handed weapons because of their faster swing speed. Conditioning and Tough are both expected to increase to 7 and then 10% at their maximum of 3 ranks, which means that many players have suggested that Imperials could be the best tanking race in the game. Orcs are very close to Imperials in this regard, with a bonus 6% health to the Imperials 10%, and with Orcs regenerating 15% of their health in combat against the Imperials' similar Red Diamond ability. Which race will reign supreme for tanking is yet to be determined. These skills do strongly favor the Dragon Knight class, with the option of a smattering of melee-based Templars and Nightblades getting in on the action as well. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I've been your host, B.R. Brainerd. Have fun and game on!